We're talking about uh, Manchester United new signing of Johnny Gallo. He has been told to stay away from their quarantine training base because of fears over coronavirus. The striker has been training at the National Taekwondo Center next door to Manchester City's Etihad Stadium since arriving from Shanghai Shenhua as a precaution. And Igalo arrived in Manchester from China on the 1st of February and will remain in the mandated 14-day incubation period until Friday. Now, well, Lua, um, yesterday I saw it on the news that he was banned. They made it look like it was a bad thing that he did. I'm like, come on. It is a necessary thing. It's a yes. normal procedure for it to happen. He just arrived from China where we have the serious outbreak of the coronavirus. So it's normal for them to keep him incubated until, because he has been, we also heard from Oligona Sosha that he might feature against Chelsea on Monday. Yes, exactly. Um, first of all, prevention is better than cure. Exactly. So, you know, coming in from China, they need to be sure that, because it's coming to the UK, that's the first thing, you mm -hmm. know, and coming into a new club, they need to be sure that he's virus free so sure. that he, no one else gets the disease. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was thinking about it. Is this going to affect him in any way? First of all, I think Odio Nigalo is a very strong personality. Oh. Mentally, I feel that he's going to be good. He'll be fine. Um, because he's not, right now, he's working on his fitness. He's trying to get up to pace with his teammates. Yeah. Um, the only flaw would be that, okay, he's not training with his teammates and he would have probably liked to establish a connection mm -hmm. or relationship with some of the players, especially the wingers and the midfielders. Yeah. But nonetheless, Odion Gallo is an experienced striker with Premier League experience, mm -hmm. played top flight football for a good number of years, and he knows the game he's coming into. Mm -hmm. He's preparing himself mentally and physically as well. So um, I hope to see him against Chelsea, and I hope for a fantastic performance for him, just like the whole of Nigeria as well. Where is a fantastic performance? Are you expecting him to score probably a hat-trick in that game? Because <laughs> I know you're not a Chelsea fan. <laughs> Chelsea fan. Um, a hat-trick will be far-fetched, mm. but then dreams will come true. Exactly. So it's possible. A debut goal would not be bad at all. True. Um, probably 20 minutes coming mm. up from the bench and, and get to go. you know yeah hard work wow. and, uh, wow. and assist probably <laughs> okay and for Johnny Gallo talking about dreams coming true he also dre he has been dreaming of joining Manchester United and it did happen for him uh, because uh, right from his childhood even his former teammate um, uh, Troy Deeney also mentioned that he has always been a Manchester United fan but still talking about the Gallo now um, the question is how far can he go? Six months loan, how, how good will it be for Manchester United? Six months it, uh, is enough to make impact to Doka. Mm. Um, and like you rightly said, you've got um, selfish players in that front three. Mm -hmm. But I just feel for a gallery to be up, up to him to take his chances and uh, convert those chances if and when he gets it. Don't forget that they brought in him due to the injury to Rashford. Rashford. So it means if Rashford is fit, Definitely, Igalo will be on the bench. bench. But anytime he gets to be on that feed, um, just like Okbe rightly mentioned, he has got the mentality. Mm -hmm. Don't take anything away from him. He was highest goal scorer at the uh, last uh, Nations, Nations Cup. Cup. We need to mention that he was sure. also the highest goal scorer at the qualifiers. So it means Igalo is a player that can score goals mm. when he gets the opportunity to uh, score the goals. I think um, if he gets to play, 20-15 um, minutes, mm. you know, for the remainder of the season, I, I feel we can get one or two goals. You know, mm. he can maybe get if he can get crosses from the likes of James, he could get those goals. But I don't expect you know Igalo to be the messiah right now for Manchester United. Mm. I don't. Ex I, I'm not expecting him to come and start you know banging in goals week after week. But yeah. he should just do enough. You know, he should. I, I expect him to be a team player. Yeah. You know, link up with the midfielders. You know, he has been doing that very well when he was with the Super Eagles. So link up with the midfielders, link up with the striker. Even if you don't get the goals, at least create chances, create uh, scoring opportunities mm -hmm. for your teammates. And yeah. I think that's what Gallo is there to do. All right. And uh, do you expect him back in the Super Eagles team? Yeah, it's just 30. Mm. It's okay. just 30. 